Hello everyone. Welcome to our discussion on the topic slip system of posting in banks and rebate on bills discounting under unit 4 bank accounts of corporate accounting part 1 for become third semester. Dear students, during this session we will discuss about slip system of postings in banks and rebate on bills discounting and its treatment. Then what is this uh, slip system of postings in banks? It is a method of rapidly posting entries to books using double entry system. Posting to ledger is made directly from slips not from journal or cash book. Slips are loose leaves of paper like pay in slip, check, withdrawal slip etc. The slips are prepared either by customers or by staff. How this uh, slip system works in the bank? All sums paid by customers are accompanied by slips. These slips are used by the bank for own bookkeeping and postings are made. Amount of each slips or checks are entered in the cash book and then in general ledger. Based on slip respect to debits or credits were made. Then what are the advantages of slip system of posting? First of all, there is no need of a subsidiary book. It saves time and labor of staff as the entries are made directly from the slip system to the ledger. It saves the time and labor. It reduces chances of fraud and error. Proper distribution of work will be taken place. The internal check system will be good. It makes accounts reliable. It is evidence in the court of law and it helps in auditing. Then another important topic which is to be discussed during this session here is rebate on bills discount and its relevance. When a bank discounts a bill of exchange, it gets an income called interest. The whole amount of discount received during an accounting year may not relate to that accounting year. A part of it may relate to the next accounting year. This happens because at the close of the accounting year, some of the bills may not be matured. Rebate on bills discounted means the unearned amount or discount received for those bills which mature after the rate of closing the final accounts. Usually now, accounts on the 31st March of every year close month at TV and the Sandra Dali, bills discounting Ayrta, but a discount made at the bill in a matured Ayrola. So, Antha bill in a matured Ayrta Kanta Motta Tado, other than a rebate on bills discounted Antha Hermudu. It is a discount on unexpired bill. It is a discount received in advance. We can calculate the amount of rebate on bills discounted through this formula. Here, amount of bill into rate of discount into unexpired period divided by 365 days. For example, we have uh, an amount of the bill amount uh, rupees 10,000 and the rate of discount fixed is 10% and the unexpired period maybe of 30 days divided by 365. By this, we can calculate the actual amount of rebate on bills discounted. So 10,000 into 10 upon 100 into 30 divided by 365 and whatever the result we get, that is, we can call as a rebate on bills discounted. Then how to make the accounting treatment about this rebate on bills discounted? This journal entry can be passed for rebate on bills discounted, which is like this interest and discount account debit to rebate on bills discounted account. The narration for this can be quoted like this being rebate on bills discounted adjusted. Then, how to make the treatment of rebate on bills discounted in final accounts? There are totally six cases through which we have to make the treatment of bills discounting in final accounts. The case one is, if it is 
is not given in trial balance but given as an information and asked to prepare profit and loss account only. Then the treatment is deduct from interest and discount <clears throat> under schedule 13. And uh, the case number two will be like this. If it is given in trial balance and asked to prepare only profit and loss account. Treatment is not to consider in profit and loss account directly taken in the balance sheet. And if the case is like this, if it is given in trial balance and asked to prepare balance sheet only, then the treatment is show in the other liabilities and provisions under schedule 5 in liability side of balance sheet. Case number 4, <clears throat> if it is given in trial balance and asked to prepare both profit and loss account and balance sheet, then its treatment will be take only in the liability side of the balance sheet in other liabilities and provisions under schedule 5. And if the case is, if it is given in an adjustment and asked to prepare both profit and loss and balance sheet, then treatment will be deduct from interest and discount under schedule 5 in profit and loss account and showing the balance sheet under schedule 5 other liabilities and provisions. And case number 6, if opening balance of rebate given in trial balance, its treatment will be it should be added to interest and discount under schedule 13 in profit and loss account. So, dear students, throughout this session, we were discussed about meaning, working, and advantages of slip system of posting, and many kind accounting treatment of rebate on bills discounting. These are my references. You can go through these. Thank you.